looking a little sketchy. Like we might bolt out of here at any moment. The cicadas, they are still here and they are still loud. I don't know if you guys could hear it in my past couple videos, but I could when I was editing. Today is gonna be a good video, it for real is. I'm so happy to be working with Tom Saxon from Fangs TV again. He's one of my favorite vendors. I was so excited when he reached out and asked if I was interested in doing another sponsored video. Of course I am. I absolutely love Fangs TV. I love everything he stands for. I love all the breeding he does for the hobby. He's really kind, he's knowledgeable, breeds a bunch of tarantulas. In fact, he just was the first to breed this species in the United States. So good for you, Tom. That's awesome. Also, he wanted me to let you guys know that he actually relaunched his website. He added a brand new member program where you can earn points and discounts and stuff like that. So if you are in the market for a tarantula, of course, check him out. He's reputable. The link is down below. So yes, we have some new babies from him. Thanks, TV. All right, all right, here we are. We have a nice little cool pack because it is quite hot outside. All right. I almost missed this because he shoved it in the side of the box, but this is Andrew Smith's Peace Letheria DVD. I've actually been thinking of ordering this myself, so thank you so much, Tom. Oh my, I can already see something that I was not expecting. Look at this B classy. I cannot wait to get them out and get a better look. My gosh, another that this is a species that I love raising up. If you are looking for something that grows very fast and eats very well and is very entertaining out a lot. The Pima Chalas are one of my favorites. Yes, they're a little bit on the defensive side and their urticating hairs can be very irritating, but I have had nothing but amazing experiences raising these up. I have an adult female right now that I raised from a tiny sling. I got like six years ago when I just got into this hobby. So if I could do it then, you could probably do it. Love Pamphobedius. And then these are what I specifically, oh. <gasps> Oh my God, he sent me, he sent me one of his brand new uh, US first species. Oh my God, it's so little. Oh my gosh, look at it. Thank you so much, Tom. I was actually low key hoping you were gonna send me one of these. As soon as I saw it, I thought about Halloween and I must own every Halloween looking species that exists. Here is what I did ask for. Now this is like a cousin to the D diamond tenensis. And if you guys remember, I do have an adult female that I've raised up forever. And the last sponsored unboxing I did with Tom, he actually sent me a juvenile D diamond tenensis, which is doing well. And I'm really hoping that that one turns out to be male. So then maybe I can breed them and be cool like him. But yeah, so this is like a cousin of it. And he bred these a while ago and he sent me one. It did not do well for me. I think I kept it a little too dry because these guys do like it a little bit more moist. Yeah, it just, I don't really know exactly what happened, but my best guess is it was really tiny and it probably needed more moisture than I gave it. So I asked him to give me another chance with one and he, he did. And you can tell, look at the size on this. I mean, this is much larger than the sling that he sent me last time. Same babies, I believe, but they've grown a lot since my last video. So I'm really appreciating the fact that he is giving me another chance because I was so upset that the other sling didn't make it. Probably totally my fault. Okay, lately when I've been doing unboxing, I've had the enclosures ready to go for the unboxing part, but a few of you guys have requested that I actually go back to making the enclosures when I do the unboxing. And since I knew he was sending me like three, four tarantulas, I decided that we could probably do the enclosures in the same video. So I will say for sure that this little baby is going to to probably stay in this vial. Actually, even something smaller. I have something smaller I can put it in. This is the mini tarantula cribs slider. I think this will be like perfect. So I don't have any medium tarantula cribs sliders available right now. So in the meantime, we'll just do the small tarantula cribs slider, which will obviously be fine for them right now. I just think that in a couple molts, they for sure will do better in a medium. So let's go ahead and get to making these enclosures. So for the enclosure for this one, I mean, it is so, absolutely small. We're just gonna use this tiny vial. This is like probably one of the smallest ones I have that I could find anyway. And I'm gonna keep it real simple because it's so small, I don't wanna lose it. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a little bit of substrate and then, oh my gosh, I'm so scared to get it out because it's so quick. Now I do have this, I could probably use it as a safety, you know just in case it runs, it won't go as far. Let me bring you guys closer in. This is 
probably gonna be somewhat tedious because it moves so fast. It's right up there too. Come on. Oh, so fast. I mean, I'm sorry that probably wasn't the most cinematic shot there, but we got it. Go ahead and uh, mark it as well. We're gonna go from smallest to biggest. So let's go ahead and do this one next. This is the one I'm really, really stoked about. And we're gonna use this adorable mini tarantula cribs slider. It's a, it's a little ucky because Fiona was using it to catch like bugs outside and I think she kept like a lightning bug in it overnight and a caterpillar she had a caterpillar in it so yeah I rinsed it out but it's still it's still a little ucky you know but it's all right still doesn't need a ton of substrate you know like my D diamond tenensis both are huge webbers so I feel like we need to give some anchor points for the webbing this is a nice chunk of cork I feel like that will be good for them to web up a couple leaves maybe this kind of moss Yes. All right, this is probably gonna be a little bit of a bolty one as well, so cool. <laughs> oh, you can see it actually like made a little bit of a um, burrow in this. We'll recycle some of this. Oop, 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 oop. Looking a little sketchy, like we might bolt out of here at any moment, but uh, hopefully you can get a good look. You know what, I'll pop this on. There you go. I cannot believe how big this one got for you already. I don't wanna like scare, oh, and I scared it. Got it. Found a nice little secure spot. And I'm sure that we will web up the place quite nice if it's anything like the D-Diamond Tenensis, so. Yay, okay, awesome. I'm glad we got the more bolty small ones done first, so that's out of the way, because that's like the most stressful part for me. <laughs> We've got two more to go. These guys are a little bit on the big side too, so. There's already leaf litter spilled in this bag, so there's one. And then we have more repta soil, perfect. Throw some leaf litter in that one as well. I've got some cork pieces, which will be great for them. And then of course we got some frog moss, my favorite. Makes every enclosure look so nice. Those look pretty good, right? Let me grab some water dishes. I just got some tattoo ink, 3D printed uh, water dishes. I've got from someone on Instagram, do a little. You know, let's go. Who are we doing first? Um, We'll do the Pima Chala first because I have a feeling we are gonna be somewhat of a butthole. Um, that's how it goes though. <laughs> and like I said, we'll upgrade them soon. Maybe not on video, maybe we will, I don't know. My thing with them is that they, they do bite first and then uh, decide if it's food later. So we will be careful with our fingers, even at this size. There you go. Welcome home, my friend. You're home. We're uh, doing the dead weight thing that they do when they don't want to be messed with. Cool, oh my gosh, I'm so stoked. Hi. Gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Look at that magenta color. I don't know like how well you can see it, but it is like the most beautiful magenta color. Thank you so much, Tom. I'm in love with all of them, just like I was last time. If you guys want to go grab some spiders from him, a link is down below. If you don't want a spider that's alive, however, Binks, my Black Widow, is still available, so check her out. She's up for pre-order, and she's absolutely adorable. I added these little bows to her head because I just thought it was so cute. But yeah, all right. Like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be 
forget I'm an Instagram to use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Discord, podcast, plushie, merch, everything. It's linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks.